corner because my battery ran out and I opened the little compartment and the battery shot across the room. Thank you so much for watching. Today is a get ready with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. I feel like doing bold brows. My pomade. So I'm super excited because I've been placing orders for the last few weeks buying some makeup. It's for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing on my channel. Once I hit 500 subscribers I'm not doing it to grow my channel. I'm not going to put it in the title. I want it to be a thank you to you guys, to my actual Cake Face family, not some thirsty stranger. How do you guys like this hair color? I dyed my hair really splotchy on accident. I don't know, I was mixing gray and blue, and some areas of blue got like super blue, and some areas didn't pick up at all so then the next day I went over and I like tried to be a little more careful and I think it evened it out a little bit but I still have splotchiness but I'm not too unhappy with it I feel like there isn't too much brassiness showing through now whenever it gets to a point where brassiness is like really showing through I get super annoyed and that's when I like dye my hair again I was going to do maybe like a video on some of the hair color dyes I've been using. I've been really enjoying using the Ion Color Brilliance Brights temporary hair color, semi-permanent they're called, and a couple other like hair products for upkeep for my hair color. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down below. Most of you probably don't dye your hair or if you do you probably go somewhere to get it dyed but it gets really expensive so I kind of do my own thing now that my hair is bleached my cousin just turned 15 it's insane she's such a sweetheart I saw her to celebrate her newly 15th and she went through my videos, like the thumbnails, and was like, I like this hair color, and I liked this hair color. And every single one that she pointed out was right after I had gotten it professionally done. <laughs> of course she liked those ones. Ugh. It's like, girl, you have good taste. We had a baby shower for baby Rojas. Rojas is my maiden name, my brother, and his beautiful wife are having a baby boy and we threw a monkey themed baby shower and it was super fun we did this activity the onesie decorating I was worried that nobody would actually participate but pretty much everybody got into it it was really exciting he has so many onesies now <laughs> more than he can probably wear before he grows too big for them my only regret was not getting bigger sizes because everybody loves buying infant clothing. You know, they're going to get like an excess of infant clothing. I'm going to use my Guerlain Meteorites. I love everything about this primer, but it's expensive, yo. So I would definitely say that you do not need this primer. There's a lot of primers out there that are less expensive and do a beautiful job. But if you're looking for something really nice to splurge on, I definitely recommend this primer. It's so pretty to be sitting on your vanity too. Like, look at how pretty that is with the pearls. This is kind of like a really special makeup item for me because when I was first getting started with makeup, I stumbled upon a Guerlain stand. And I saw this primer and that was like the first makeup item I really just was like, oh, it's magical. 
just so magical. And I waited for years to get it. I'm putting my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. This is my favorite smoothing primer. I think I want to use my favorite 5 pan palette from Natasha Denona. Not a single eyeshadow is a waste. Like they're all really, really gorgeous. You know I'm gonna prime my lids. I'm gonna use my NARS Smudge Proof Eye Base. Before I go in with the Natasha Denona shadows, I'm gonna use my Viseart Number no. 7 Cool Matte Palette. I'm gonna do this light gray one. These are my favorite kinds of days when I have time to hang out with my family and play around with some makeup. It's my favorite. I'm going to take this lightest shade and mix it with the shade here, this pinkish shade, and I'm going to put that underneath the brow bone. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to take this gray shade right here. I'm angling my brush from above and I'm just starting to kind of define the crease. But instead of making it smoky, I'm angling it from above so that I make sort of a sharp line. This one's lower. Whatever. It's not like a full cup crease, it's like focused on the outside. I feel like I haven't played around with this one a whole lot and it matches my brass jewelry. So I'm going to do that. Normally I would go in with my finger, but I just felt like using a brush today. These shadows feel like luxury. I want to put a little bit of this guy right in the inner area. For foundation, I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Velvet foundation. I'm going to put one drop of my Cover FX Custom Infusion Radiance Drops in with that. Mix that in, make it a little bit more emollient, slightly less mattifying and a little bit more hydrating because my skin has been a hot mess because I didn't get a good night's sleep two nights ago and anytime that happens my illness just takes over. My first aid beauty eye remedy. Oh it's so cold. Oh my god. <sighs> Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Mixing in a couple dots of my naked skin because it's lighter. So I'm still on my quest to find my Holy Grail mascara. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime highlighting pen. I was feeling too MAC. Okay, I'm going to use my MAC Forever Green eyeliner. I'm drawing this directly in my lash line. We're going to use this as a base for that old gold color. Bring out a little bit of that green tone. For my inner corner, let's go ahead and use a mix of this guy and this guy. I love how dirty it looks. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> Sounds really weird. Okay, for mascara, we're going to do the Dior Primer and the Dior, Dior Show in that plummy color that I have. I was planning on doing falsies, but now that my whole look is coming together. I feel like it looks really messy and kind of cool, kind of grungy. So I think mascara is a better option because it looks a little bit messier. And then without, whoa, my neck, <laughs> I think I'm dying. I was trying to turn on a lamp in the dark. They're super cool. They're lamps that I got from my great aunt and she had lived all over the world and 
she made these huge ginger jars into bases for lamps and they're just really really pretty and they light up on the inside of the jar of the base of the lamp as well they're really cool but anyway in order to turn on the lamp you have to like go underneath the lamp shade and turn it on and in the dark I like missed and I hit the base of the lamp I wear acrylics and my pinky nail cracked and it was so painful like it cracked right at the base within like where my nail hits like my actual finger and I thought it was just the acrylic that cracked and I've done that once before but when it cracks like it doesn't normally hurt the finger or the fingernail or at least that hadn't been the case before and it was painful I don't know if it actually because it didn't like fall off and it wasn't bleeding so I don't know what happened but it was horrible but I had to go do things that day I didn't have time to either go somewhere to get fixed or fix it myself so Throughout the day, I was lifting things, putting things together, like preparing for my sister's baby shower. And every time I would hit anything, or even like like in the car, like it would just slightly vibrate, it was like a shooting pain. I'm such a baby. And it made me think like how terrible it would be to be tortured like you know how like in the movies and stuff they like torture you by doing stuff to your fingernails my husband has a thing about teeth stuff like things happening to your teeth I think for me it's more fingernails and like like sharp objects and the eyes <laughs> uh. I went somewhere to get my nail fixed because I didn't think I could fix it myself because it really hurt and I didn't know what was going on so I wanted a professional to do it and she only charged me three dollars to redo this nail I was like dang I tipped her like the same amount because I was like that's like nothing have you guys seen Finding Dory? <laughs> I thought it was really good. I feel like a lot of people I've talked to didn't really like it, but I thought they did a really good job for a sequel. Like, it was pretty much like they took Finding Nemo and like just made replacement characters. It was very much like a playing on nostalgia type movie, but that's what I loved about it. I'm gonna use a couple drops of my Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops. Now I'm taking my Natasha Denona Cream Highlighter. I'm gonna put a little bit on top of that. I really love that combination. It makes the skin look so glowy. Okay, and then just to slim down the face a little bit, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Contour Duo. And just very lightly contour. I'm gonna use one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. It's the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in African Violet. For the final touch, since we have our lips on now, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of my favorite blush, Mac Full of Joy. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join my Cake Face family. All of that jazz. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye, loves. Leave us a thumbs up. <laughs> Leave us a thumbs up if you...